Wow. That's ridiculous. So I just wanted to do a real quick first impressions video of this Grand Furs Brook Wildlife Hatchet. So you'll see this hatchet referred to as the 415 model. It's also the Wildlife Hatchet. Now I'm on the list for the Grand Furs Brook Small Forest Axe. It's actually one of the most coveted axes that um, people are trying to buy these days and there's a significantly long waiting list but in the meantime I was looking around and happened to find one of these for you know regular retail price I didn't get a great deal on it but I also didn't pay an arm and a leg like some of these other axes that people are paying big bucks for so you know I just got a fair deal and figured I'd pick one of these up and play around with it for a little while while I'm waiting for the small forest axe to show up and so I just wanted to take a minute, take a quick peek at this thing. I haven't even used it yet. I just uh, literally cut the book off of the handle. Uh, there was a little uh, piece of twine holding it on. And so I just thought I'd take a minute, take a look at this thing, get some of the details and, you know, show you guys this hatchet close up. Now, first things first. Oh, my God, is this sharp. I mean, it, it, it actually makes me kind of nervous. I was just doing a quick little test shaving right there and it's just I mean I thought some of my knives were sharp this takes it to the next level this thing is ridiculously sharp right off of the get-go um, so it's obviously a, a tool you need to respect and be very careful with it um, you know I'm extremely impressed at how sharp this is these are hand forged in Sweden using traditional methods you'll notice right on the head the actual makers mark from the Smith who forged this particular axe head in this case it's mm this uh, axe actually does come with a book that has a lot of details and right inside it does show the names of the uh, workers who forged these axes so mm is uh, Mattias Matson. pretty interesting to see that they have, um, you know, this documentation all the way down to the details of the actual Smith who works on the actual, uh, you know, tool that you own. So pretty cool detail, very nice personal touch and um, pretty interesting uh, to see how these are made. There's a lot of good information on their website and also on other YouTube videos that you'll find that you know really show how these things are made in the actual factory and very very interesting to watch now because these are hand forged and forged with machinery uh, they they are certainly far from perfect in terms of the finish and in fact you know that's the look you're going for i wanted something that was handmade i don't want something that's made uh you know in a, an assembly line or you know uh mass produced um, you know in a factory or something like that so the fact that these are actually handmade is pretty impressive um, it's uh, you know high quality tool something that should last forever if it's properly maintained now it is hard to find the exact metal that's used here I know it is a high carbon steel uh, the exact metal composition is not available on their website I have seen some forums with people who are bouncing, uh, you know, different ideas around about what this uh, actual metal composition could be, but I don't have any really good information to provide to you. So just do your own research if you're interested in that. Um, obviously, uh, you know, different opinions may, um, you know, give you different results. But anyway, I do know that this is a high carbon steel. And so obviously, um, you know, being careful with it and uh, trying to keep it oiled and out of the water or any wet conditions is going to be key but um, you know durability should be there edge retention should be there overall sharpness quality of the um, you know the head obviously um, you know Granfer's name speaks for itself uh, the handle is a hickory handle you know nice quality very very comfortable you know well um, sanded and obviously they have their name branded right on the middle of the handle so pretty cool um, you know I'm gonna work on probably a lanyard of some sort 
you know, just to have something around my wrist to keep it a little more uh, controlled. And, um, you know, I haven't even haven't even swung this yet. So, you know, I'll, I'll play around with it a little bit and try and see what works for me. But I'll probably create a lanyard of some sort. Now, most people that talk about this hatchet, if you see any other reviews online, talk about it coming with a real nice sheath. I mean, this is pretty nice. And, you know, I'm, I'm certainly not going to complain. I mean, it does the job. But I don't know. Maybe I'm just, uh, you know, maybe I just don't understand. I, I don't see this as being, like, really nice. I mean, you know, if you look at the, I guess you call that a welt, um, you know, it's not really smoothed out too much. It's kind of... Uh, you know, I don't know, I feel like it's it's not all, you know, perfectly aligned and there's like a little lip and stuff. And I don't know, I've just seen some people who do some super nice leather work. And I mean, yeah, this is totally suitable. Do, you know, it does me just fine. I'm not going to go and get myself any other sort of sheath. And, you know, this looks good and it's lightweight and easy to, you know, easy to maintain. But at the same time, I guess all I'm saying is I don't see it as being like really nice, which is what some people say. It's really nice. I don't know. It's just my definition of, of really nice. Um, the hatchet. Yes. The hatchet is really nice. The sheath. Eh, whatever. Not so much. Pretty standard in my opinion. I mean, I like the button. I like that it has the little logo on there and that's a nice touch, but you know, I don't see this being anything super fancy or flashy, but obviously, like I said, it does do the job. So that's it. Like I said, just really quick to show you a first impressions video. I am blown away at how sharp this is. The quality looks very, very nice. I'm actually pretty excited to start getting outside. You know, I'm sick of doing these tabletop reviews. It's been cold and rainy and damp and uh, winter time and we're turning the corner here. I have a million logs to split and to play with um, from some, you know, projects that I've taken on and trees that are all uh, cut up in my yard. So I get to really start playing with some knives and blades and hopefully over the course of the next couple of months you'll start seeing a lot more field use on my on my tools but um, anyway uh, like I said just a real quick first impressions video of the Grand Furs Brook wildlife hatchet I hope you enjoyed this and I will see you guys soon thanks for stopping by take care